everybody, JP Alexander for the Rabbit Dogs. It is Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Today I want to talk about something that's been irritating me for 22 years, 22 years, 25 years, 2022, 25 years, almost 25 years. This year will be 25th anniversary of Titanic, the movie Titanic. And uh, what's been bothering me for 25 years is the depiction of Cal in everybody's mind. Uh, in the movie, okay, he was an elitist snob, okay. But he wasn't a bad guy. Uh, he really is the tragic figure in that movie. Not Rose or Jack, even though Jack died, but, you know, I think the most tragic figure in that was Cal. It, it, it's sad to say he brought his fiance, some girl he loved, on a cruise, expensive cruise, with her mother, and got her to bring all her stuff on it. I mean, he was spoiling her, really spoiling her, and he was going to give her the Heart of the Ocean, which is that, that, that necklace that was worth, you know, priceless. You can't even put a price on it. It was like probably billions of dollars now it's worth, and uh, wow, he's going to do all this for her, and uh, she... Thanks him by fucking uh, a homeless guy in third class. Uh, yeah, I mean that that that's pretty tragic. That that's like a, a tragedy right there. That that that's that that's pretty uh, hard for any guy to to take. I mean, let me ask the guys out there. Just for instance, our girls even. How would you like it if you went to? expensive restaurant with your spouse, your, your no, no, your, your fiancé, whether it's a, a man or woman or, or whatever. And you go to an expensive restaurant, you've been waiting for reservations for weeks, you know, you, it's a lot of money. And then when you go there and then you, your significant other, whatever, goes to go to the bathroom and they end up fucking the busboy. You would probably be very upset probably be very upset and who could blame you i don't think uh, anybody should bl 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 blame you and nobody should blame cal cal was i mean as a matter of fact cal gave a lot of room in 1912 cal was pretty progressive when it came to dating he gave a lot of room he he would actually he wasn't staying in the same room as her he probably i could assume she was 17 she was supposed to be he was supposed to be 30 uh, uh, he gave you know, he, he, they didn't have sex yet. She was a virgin again, you know, she decided to, to have sex for the first time with this homeless dude, <laughs> and fiance. uh, yeah. And uh, you know, he, he gave her like you know, the freedom to, to say I'm tired and, and not go out and or whatever and just go to sleep, which wasn't going to sleep, it was. Going down to the third class uh, area and you're partying with the uh, the third class folk or whatever. Uh, I I I I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I mean that, that that that's pretty. Uh, that, that that's that's pretty uh, pretty pretty bad. Pretty bad to be doing that to your uh, fiance. I mean, uh, yeah, we're supposed to believe it's some kind of a range. Marriage, but in England and the United States, they don't do arranged marriages like they do in like the Middle East. So she didn't have to marry him. Her mother probably wanted her to because you know they probably didn't have a lot of money, and he did, and he was gonna inherit a lot of money, so he could have taken care of her. Back in those days, I'm, I'm just talking about 1912. I'm not saying it's right or wrong or anything. That's 1912. Let's be honest. Uh, let's look at it through 1912. The glasses, okay? 1912 glasses. She wasn't going to get a job, probably. Her, her mother, the father wasn't around, so I guess the father died. And they had to, you know, hook up with somebody. They wanted some money. If they're going to, you know. And he probably would have taken care of the, the mother, had the mother moving with them. I mean, it sounded like a pretty good deal. And Rose goes and fucks it all up for this struggling artist. And, uh, yeah. And then... Everybody blames Cal. Why? Because he stopped love. He stopped. He's a bad guy because he stopped their love. Wouldn't you stop love if you were engaged to somebody and, you know, she's banging some homeless guy somewhere? 
wouldn't most men stop that relationship? I think so. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't say, well, you know, her heart wants what it wants, so I'm going to be s supportive of her. I don't think most men would do that, and I don't think they should be expected to. Yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, not to, you know, bring up some other things that, you know, chances are in real life, the old Rose would have said, well, you know, uh, the guy, I'm kind of glad he died. When, you know, I, I purposely didn't let him on. I was taking up more of, of that, that door than I could have because I really didn't want him to get on because his usefulness was already done. He, he helped me get away from Cal. And he had a little dick anyway. He really did have a little dick. I really didn't uh, great have a good time in bed with him. And I'm like, is that what sex is? Jeez, I didn't feel much, huh? And then, uh, yeah, and then, um, yeah, uh, and then, so, you know, and then I'm going to help save him so we can end up, what, homeless in, in the United States trying to make ends meet with struggling us. I mean, I wanted to get away from Cal. I didn't want to fucking have my whole, you know, my whole future mapped out for me with this homeless struggling artist. You know, I, I was just using him and, you know, I'm kind of glad that, that, that he didn't make it. So I didn't actually kill him. He just, you know, died. And, oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, that would have been probably real life, but, you know, She's talking to these guys in a boat, and she says he was the love of her life. Some guy you you, you knew for three days, 85 the, uh, 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 years ago, is the love of your life. Not your husband. Not not the husband who, who took care of you, who had kids with you, grandkids, you know. And, and not, you know, a granddaughter was there, and she said in front of her granddaughter, oh, uh, this struggling artist homeless guy was the love of my life, who died 85 uh, years ago, and who, who I knew for three days when I was 17. That guy. Oh, your grandfather? He was a nice guy, but you, you, you see, I like the bad boys. I like the bad boys. I, I you know, I, I didn't love your, your grandfather, and I, I'm, I'm sorry. He, you know, I, I let him take care of me because I was a fucking bad actress. I didn't make time one doing that. I became an actress because I, I, I thought I had some kind of artistical merit. Uh, you know, if anything, I can maybe make you believe that I care. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't like Rose. Not the young Rose or the old Rose. I, I thought Rose was, was the villain of the whole film. I think Rose was the villain of the whole film. Fucking the whole thing up. You know, I mean, you know, Titanic probably sank because of her bad karma. Uh, that's probably what happened, you know. And then she lives. Uh, you know. And there's also some things also. She's narrating the film. She's telling them what happened. So she's saying that, well, Jack won the card game and he, he won those tickets. How do you know? He might have robbed those tickets. You weren't there. That, you weren't there to see that. That's what Jack told you, that he won the, the tickets. But you don't know that. He, he could have robbed those tickets. Him and the, his Italian friend could have killed those guys and take it and tickets for all you know, okay? And a scene where Cal takes the little kid and he says, "Oh, this little kid's mine." Uh, to try to get on the uh, the lifeboat. How do you know you weren't there? You're just telling him that because you want to think that you want to think the worst of Cal. Maybe th this kid was crying. His parents had just died, and Cal was being nice and, and saying. I'll take, you know, I have a lot of money. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the kid. I'll make sure the kid gets, you know, home okay. To, you know, who didn't want to get on, on those boats? Who didn't want to get on that? He's going to be a real man? I mean, Cal living, I'm um, okay. Cal's father had a steel company. Oh, uh, okay. Cal was going to inherit that steel company. He's creating hundreds of jobs probably with that steel company. So Cal lives, hundreds of people get to keep their job. Cal dies, nobody gets there. All those people get fired. So I think Cal living, you know, was okay, fine. I, I, I have no problem with, with the rich people who own, own businesses on that ship staying alive because, you know, they create jobs. 
how many people lost their jobs after the Titanic sank because of all the, the men who own businesses uh, died? You know, think about that. We don't think about that, you know? And how many of those people killed themselves because they, they lost their job and they couldn't find another one? Really? The, 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 you know, think about that. That the Titanic caused other deaths probably for years afterwards. You know, so you really got to say the cause and effect. Uh, because that happened, how many people, you know, right, suffered, you know, years afterwards. So Cal really, you know, so we're supposed to think the worst of Cal, like he took this kid only to save his own ass. We don't know that. That's what she's telling us. And, and she, she, she's telling them that, but she doesn't know that. She wasn't there. And the scene where Cal puts the, the, the heart of the ocean in, 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 in Lena uh, Jack's pup. Pocket and to blame, you know, Jack stealing it. That's her th thinking the best of the man she, she, she loves. How many times do you see a girl in love with a guy doing the best, wanting to see the best of him, but he he he, he was in jail. He killed somebody. Ah, nah, 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 nah. it was a misunderstanding, right? Exactly the same kind of thing. You know, Jack's the good guy, Cal's the bad guy. How do we know Cal put that in Jack's pocket? Because she says so. She wasn't even there to see that either. It's just something she might be making up. She might have made up the whole story. She's going to, of course, put herself in the best light. When, and people tell stories later on after the fact, they're going to put themselves in the best light. And how, how, how is she supposed to know the story 85 years on? She knows every little detail of it. I think she's just an old lady. As a matter of fact, I didn't count my and I existed. She might just be a crazy old lady. Imagine if, if they look back into this years, years later and, 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 and they said, Rose so and so, yeah, she, she was on the cruise. Her mother was rich. Uh, yeah, that was it. There was no, you know, she was got right on a lifeboat on the mother, and they lived. There was no cow. There was no, you know, no. Oh, there was a cow, and and she, she had the huts for cow, but he, he didn't give it the time of day. Imagine that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? That would be pretty funny. No, um, um, uh, 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 Titanic 2, you, uh, you know, <laughs> they go s s searching in records, you know, like in the first one, Bill Paxton, rest his soul, went down deep below to try to search and, and look for the Titanic. And in the second one, some other guy, he's searching Rose to try to get, you know, home information and finds out that she didn't even know Cal Hockney. <laughs> and she was just some stalker, stalking him on his ship, you know. And J there was no Jack. And they found out the first class passengers wouldn't even see the third class passengers. The third class passengers weren't even allowed on the deck. <laughs> you know, they, they were down in the basement. You know, she made up the whole thing. It was a complete fucking lie, you know. And then they said, well, you know, she's, she's a... a, a, a Pathological lawyer. <laughs> Later on, they interview a granddaughter, and she goes, she's been lying about things for years. Actually, it's not because she's 102, it's because she's always been a dingbat. <laughs> you know, she's always been so... How are we supposed to know? But hey, it's a good story, I guess. I guess she, she's taken the... Uh, or they found out she wasn't even on the, the Titanic, and the whole story's made up, you know? <laughs> It's like the people who say, I'm, I'm a green arbor, and they find out he wasn't, and then he gets embarrassed and, and walks away, and it's just, it's, it's just, it's just sad. But yeah, so my, my point is, going back to, to the original uh, point of this video, is that Cal wasn't a bad, I don't, it's 1912, if anything, he, uh, he was a progressive guy for the time, you know, he, he he gave a, a lot of a lot of freedom, and even when he saw a cat, you know, with the, you know, even her talking to how many people would not even allow his fiance to talk? How many men back in 1812 would not even let their wives talk to, talk to another guy, oh, on a boat without him there? Oh, I'm just gonna go hang out with Jack all day. I don't think in 1912 that would have flown, you know. And then she's talking to. Jack, the whole dinner, I think it would have been more like, you know, you better st stop talking to this guy. I invited him here be to be nice, but after this, we're never going to see him again.
But no, he was actually nice about the, the whole thing. So, you know, again, 1912. Let's think about that, okay? And then fat Molly Brown is uh, unsinkable, of course, because she's full of so much fat, she rises to the top. Anyway, the unsinkable Molly Brown is ab abusing uh, Cal. Like, oh, Cal, you, you, you really, you, you're not letting her care. Of course not, it's 1912. How many men let their women roam in 1912? And anyway, he was letting her roam. He let her hang out with... How many times was she making out with Jack on the fucking deck doing the thing? And other people probably saw it. And were like, dude, you're getting... You know, you're a little bit of a simp here, okay? I, I'm, I, I'm just painting out the obvious, you know? So all you 12-year-olds who, who loved it, you're 37 now, you know? It's 25 years ago. So hopefully you 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 you've seen the light like I've seen. I saw it when it first started. I mean, twenty five years ago I was thirty one. You know, I was same age as Billy Zane. You know, Cal, Hockney. You know. Anyway, that that's all I gotta say about. It. So so next time you watch Titanic, please try to look uh, from from his shoes, from his point of view, and then you'll be like, actually, Rose was. The villain and Jack was just, you know, collateral damage and Cal was the real, you know, real uh, a tragedy there, you know. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. Anyway, until the next time, this has been J.P. Alexander for the Rabbit Dogs. And uh, until next time, ciao.